Paul James here and today I had the new update for the BMS of or the battery management system for the Nissan Leaf 40 and this is to help alleviate some of the charging slowdown or rapid gate that happens when the car is going for sort of like long distance and the battery starts to get a little bit toasty so what I've what I'm going to do now is show you the comparison I'm just going to hitch up charge the car up heat the battery up get to about 50% and then we're going to go for a ride and then we're going to try and get to about 38 degrees on the battery because that's when it starts slowing down to about 20 about 28 30 kilowatts so we're going to see what sort of speeds we pull after that point so we're going to do a comparison so I'm here at the rapid charge point and I'm going to charge the car up to about 50% because it starts slowing down at that point because of the cold battery. So um, it's charging at 42 kilowatts at the moment. Uh, if we look through the screens on the actual diagnostic screen in the car, there, there doesn't seem to be any difference. Um, pull up the comparisons here. So yeah, it doesn't, out of the two pages, none of the different version numbers seem to mismatch in any sort of way that I could tell but the main thing is on the ECU reading you'll see that we have the 5SH2C version for HV battery and that is the new firmware update and that's what you need to have on uh, your car so while I'm charging, I might as well tell you a little bit of the drama that happened when I was getting getting this done. So I got the email from Nissan Customer Care, which mean, meant that I could go and get the car updated. Uh, I phoned the Nissan garage, they knew nothing of it, even though they were supposed to have a bulletin board about it. So I sent them the email from the Customer Care team about uh, the upgrade to the firmware that I needed for the battery. and. Sure enough, they found the firmware. So they got all the details together, booked in for Monday and went in. But something happened, something happened with the update that wasn't quite right because when I got the car back, I had the same um, same firmware number of 5SH2A. And I know for a fact that that isn't right because other people have got their cars updated as well and they had the version C of the firmware. So I called them back the next day and they couldn't figure out why uh, it didn't update. So the car went back in today and it got the update done. But not only that, um, we actually got a print out of the firmware change that they've done. And they need this print out to give to Nissan for because it's class under warranty apparently, so they can claim it back. So one, if the dealer is saying that uh, it's going to cost you money to do, uh, it doesn't. Two, the if you don't have lease buy to check up on it like I did, you can ask for a print out of the firmware change uh, because that has to go to Nissan anyway for them to claim it back under warranty. So either way, the dealers will get paid for it. Also, it won't get done under your service. If you take it in for service, it won't actually automatically get done. You actually have to ask for it. So you've got to say that um, you're having issues with the charging speeds and uh, rapid gate and get them to sort of like apply it then. And if that's if, if it doesn't work there, then call the Nissan, Nissan customer care team and they should be able to point them to the right bulletin board. Um, so it's, yeah, it's still a bit bit of a mix-up going on in, in this end but I suppose it's still early days uh, we know they can get the update so you know if you really want it you'll be able to get the update like I did so the temperature started off at 15 degrees it's up to 18.5 so it looks like we'll probably charge up to 50% like I said and then we're gonna, just going to go for a quick blast down the M8 at 70 miles an hour because it's a 70 mile an hour zone and then we'll double back get down to hopefully about 20% and then we'll top it back up again charge rate has dropped to 38 kilowatts that's just because of the cold battery it's 821 and I'm gonna stop the charge now and I'm gonna set off right we're gonna head off now the 
temperature of the battery is at 25.6 degrees centigrade. Right, let's go and uh, warm this little puppy up a bit. So I've been hitting all the on and off ramps. This, that was my third one. I'm doubling back now. The battery is down to 31%, so we almost used up half of what we had in the start of the drive. Uh, our efficiency is as efficient as a brick through water at the moment at 2.5 miles per kilowatt hour. The battery temperature is at 32.3. If you want to heat this battery up, come and see me I'll give you tips on how to do that right so um, yeah so the the reason why I want to try and get the battery up to about 38 degrees is because previously when I was doing some of the drives when I got to 38 degrees I the car was charging at 30 kilowatts or 29 to 30 kilowatts according to my data sheet so I just want to see how we get a faster charging speed. There's no reason why we won't because the update has been applied, but I just want to make sure that it kind of keeps in line with what uh, Tesla Beyond was getting on his drive um, when he was doing that uh, big test. And one of the ones that he got was, uh, I think he was charging about 38 kilowatts at 38 degrees centigrade. And I think I was charging about 30 at the time. So we're just going to do that comparison again and hopefully we will get the sort of charging speed with the new update. Right, I'm just uh, coming up for the off ramp on back onto Livingston. We are at 38.1 degrees centigrade, so I don't really need to go any quicker now. Our efficiency has gone up a little bit at 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. Let's go and get this car charged and see what sort of speeds we pull. It was quite exciting, isn't it? So we're getting back to the rapid charge point here, we're at 38.9 degrees centigrade. Hopefully the rapid isn't being hogged up. I have sent out a memo to all leaf drivers, or well all EV drivers, not to hog this charge point and everybody must have got it because all the ports are free. Right. <laughs> Okay, so it's 38.5 degrees. I am gonna go and charge the car up and hopefully we will get more than 30 kilowatts on charging speed. Ready? Come on. Right, okay, it's charging. And we are pulling 40 kilowatts! <laughs> no way! I, I thought it was gonna be like 38. We are, oh, we dropped down a little bit. We're at 37.6. You'd think my football team scored, not that I support football, even though there's a Livingston Stadium was behind me. Oh my goodness, that is rapid. I am, <laughs> I am genuinely pleased with this. Oh no, it's going to, uh, yeah, oh, well, it's staying 39, 39, 40. I can live with that. That is brilliant. Um, <laughs> I need to do a few more tests now because everything that I've done in the past is probably going to be obsolete. So I'll have to make some new videos or updated videos of my previous uh, drives and endeavors. So looks like I might be around for at least another year of video making. So um, yeah looks like great news so if you like this video please hit the like and subscribe button and if you haven't got that update done yet i surely suspect you should do because i'm i'm generally really chuffed to bits that the car is charging so quickly at this sort of temperature i would expect 30 kilowatts with the old battery management system so I'm totally over the moon. You can get it done. Some people have decided not to get the update done because they are worried about the battery degradation uh, and they don't do long distance, which is fair enough. Um, but for me, I think it's a, a big win for everyone in Europe that wants uh, this update. 
So once again, I'd like to say thanks for watching and if you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.